Oh, family, 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 make sure you join us to find out about this. The African sponge, the African sponge, the African sponge, and sit with me as we talk about the African sponge, the African sponge, the African sponge. Now, seriously, family, this is some serious shit. Check it out. how the universe work we start a day off you got plans like I'm fast so I walk into my brother's office my brother got a big bag of food that he got just for me <laughs> wait now hey this is how the universe works right like you say alright I'm gonna fast so I walk into his office and he got a big bag uh, of stuff from Whole Foods. He not a vegetarian. He said, man, I got this stuff. Uh, I thought you might want it. And I look in the bag, and there's lentil soup, and, and minestrone soup. And I mean, I'm sitting up here like, this is how the universe works, man. Right? It's like, you say you're going to do something, it's going to test you to see how serious you are about it. So good morning to Sister Sheila. Good morning to Real Fake Media. My man Dame Lee on Illy Ave. You know what I'm saying? Um, we about to do this toast. We about to get it popping off. Because um, I know some of y'all might be celebrating Ramadan. I'm doing my fast. And it's, it's, just, it's just crazy. Right? It's crazy. Right? Um, so I'm on. I got my detox formula. I'm going to pour that out. And we're going to see how that's going to settle, settle as well. Now, um, today on um, on the Daily Journey, um, we are going to be talking about the skin, which is the biggest organ. And I'm going to introduce you to what's called the African sponge. All right. Now, this right here, this right here is a health tool. I, I found out about this when I went to Ghana, right? You could buy it at any African store. We'll talk about it a little bit more in depth um, on, on the YouTube piece. But we're going to talk about the skin because this week, we I mean, last couple of weeks, we've been focusing on the principles and the internal aspects. This week... We're going to focus on some of those external aspects. Like yesterday we talked about, um, I don't even remember what we talked about. Y'all know how I be, y'all know how I get down, right? Um, but we're going to talk about the skin. We're going to talk about the um, 
the fascia, right? Y'all, hey, family, learn about the fascia, all right? So we're going to talk about the skin, which is your biggest organ. Then we're going to learn about the fascia, which people are just now really finding out about. Then we're going to talk about the gut bacteria. And I'm going to show y'all. And then we're going to talk about um, water, right? Because the whole piece is family. Like, we go out and we could buy all these supplements. But if we got pure water, pure water and real food and air to breathe, there is no disease that we cannot deal with. There is, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Health is abundant. You know what I'm saying? All we got to do is be able to plug in properly, right? So, I mean, it's, it's incredible. So today, we're going to be sipping on the ginseng, the root, you know. We got the ginseng root right there. Y'all see it's still floating up in there. And it's a little bit darker than it was before. Because like I tell you, this stuff go through transformations and you got to be on it if you're going to be drinking it, right? Because it teaches you so much. All right, so now let's get this water. Let's do this water thing. Come on, family. Drink some water with me. Get your glasses out. Get, your, get glasses only, family. You know what I'm saying? We grown folk. We're toasting with the glasses. Get your, get your water. See, I was using a body butter this morning. I wasn't able to put it on. I didn't have enough time. I got up on time. It's just that I, I'm trying to throw some other stuff in, into my program. Right? So. Let's do one more. Uh, I feel it coursing through my body, pushing that junk out. My fault is water, real food, air. Yeah, I forgot air. No, I didn't forget air. Oh, and fasting. Dude, water, proper food, breathing, which should be first. And fasting. There's almost nothing that, like I told you, the goal is to eliminate all diseases related to the gut in in our tribe. And I, I, I'm through the research. I'm having no doubt that we could do that. Hmm. Let's see how this ginseng react. Oh, man. Uh, Miss Sheila says, hold on. My cousin says, first, peace, king, salute, salute to your son's strength. You are officially live on Iliab. I got salute to you as well, cousin. Calvin, you are live on Iliab with the great hot Tim Giami. Thank you, brother. That's our brother, um, um, Dame Lee down there in in Georgia, well, I mean, he be traveling, so I don't know. I think he's still in Georgia right now, but he be all, uh, he's internationally known. Be everywhere. All right. Something is wrong with my connection. It keeps skipping, so I'm going to watch this later. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, Ms. Sheila. I mean, Facebook be acting funny, fam. So, you know, eventually one of the things we may end up doing is moving um, this to YouTube Live. Or even eventually start doing some type of private stream. Because, you know, it's only a certain amount of people that come anyway. Right? Um, but, I mean, we got to start thinking about that type of stuff. Because that's how it goes. It's going to skip. Why would Facebook be skipping at 4 o'clock in the morning? You know what I'm saying? I know every, I know it ain't. I know the billions ain't on here right now. Most people are asleep. So, let's go and get some of this ginseng with the root. Is moving towards the uh, very acidic phase, the, the the vinegar piece. But you know what's strange about vinegar, family, is that 
when it goes into your body, at least the like the the the, the plant based vinegars, the unprocessed vinegars, when it hits the body, outside is acid, but somehow it is transformed to alkaline. Now, I'm gonna come up with a better explanation for y'all on that one. I got to do some more research on that, but I don't understand because vinegar is very acidic, but once it hits your body. It turns alkaline. It helps your body become more alkaline. So we're going to look into that. If anybody out there has any insight on that, please share that. So first, give an honor to the creator by whatever name you choose. Call it creator. We call that great force down upon us. We call it the flow from 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 within us to the outward world. We call on this creator. Even though we know it's all around us, we salute it. We lift it up. You know what I'm saying? We... We, we praise this power, this energy that created the universe, the multiverse, or however you want to look at where we are at this place in time and create the very planet that we exist on. We toast that creator and we lift our glass and we say our shade. From there, we move to our personal ancestors and we remember our personal ancestors. We remember those mothers and those fathers, those aunts and those uncles, those friends and those cousins that have passed away. We lift them up. We remember them, right? We, we, we strengthen them by us remembering them. And we give them the ability and the power to help us and to serve us because we serve them like we're doing right now, up early in the morning, toasting them, right? celebrating their lives, remembering the things that they added to you, right? And like, it's like every three or four days I remember somebody else. And like I told y'all one time, I was thinking, and I, I didn't toast this dude by the name of Tony Clark. Tony Clark was my martial arts teacher. And Tony Clark changed my life. Tony Clark came into my life at a critical point in my personal development, middle school. Now, I don't know, some of y'all might have had the time of your life in middle school, but middle school was horrible for me. I hated middle school. And this ancestor, this brother who's an ancestor now, took the time to make sure that I learned the martial arts. He taught me for free. He taught many people in the community for free. So I want to lift up his spirit. I want to I wanna toast to him. You know what I'm saying? The brother, I'm Tony Clark. You know what I'm saying? For for servicing the community and, and serving servicing this little black boy who was trying to find himself. He became like a father to me for about two years, you know, but that's that's a long story. But I toast him, you know what I'm saying? We toast the rest of our ancestors and we lift them up. Um, I call him Miles Brown, the Sand, Robert the Tech Center, David Herman Brown, Senior Rosalie, Tilly, Georgia, William Walter, Christopher Fanny Gaston, I'm Lean Uncle Chris. Geneva Brown, Cleveland Brown, Margaret Ellis, Cecil Ellis, uh, Alvira Brown, um, my Aunt Gina, Jamon Jones, John Flar, Jeremiah Tappan, Montague Pittman Elder Normal X, Elder Hairston, Elder Farmer, Elder Donaldson, Dr. Mary Ann Williams, Sepet Ma Ra, that's all I can think of right now, family, we toast them, anybody else, if you got them, no matter when you drop them, I'll salute them, we toast them, we say, shame. From there, <clears throat> from there, we move on to this present moment today. It's Kuchi Chagalia. We salute Kuchi Chagalia. Self determination, right? We own it today, right? Today, I had to push through because I was talking about not my feelings stopping stopping me from moving to greatness. Talked about it yesterday. I think it was talk was yesterday. We talked about not feeling. You know what I'm saying? I'm feeling like doing something or something like that, right? And I didn't feel like doing my breathing exercises, but I pushed past my feelings and I did it because it's good for me. Oftentimes our feelings stop us in our growth, stop us in our fire forward progress because we're feeling a certain way, which is cool, right? But when we need it, we need to get it done, family, 
right? We need to stop relying on our feelings to move us to the next level of life. Our feelings are not going to do that. As a matter of fact, sometimes if we don't monitor our feelings, our feelings are working for our enemies. So we need to go and control those. So Cooch Chocolate is that principle to help you push through that self-determination. It's also a day of justice. It's also a day of correspondence as above, so below. So we can reflect on those principles and we can grow. So we toast this moment right now. Cooch Chocolate and we say Ashe. From there, we move on to our children, our children's children, on to infinity. We toast our children. We lift them up when we have an opportunity to, right? We lift them up every moment we can, right? And we help guide them and move them to a positive and a powerful future. So we toast them in advance so that when it's our time to be toasted, they won't mind lifting their glass for us because they're going to remember what we have done for them. Last but not least, I toast each and every last one of you that's tuning in, that's getting up with me early in the morning or that's checking on these videos every day, right? I toast you and your growth. I toast you and your strength. I toast you and your power. I trust. I toast you and your struggles. I, trust, I toast you and your sorrows. I toast you in every way that I could toast you. And I ask the ancestors to move with you and to give you guidance when you need it and give you power when you need it and to help you push through your feelings sometimes. So we toast and we say, Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. I wish all of you family peace, power, and 100 years. Sweetness is gone. Man, that's a grown man drink. Grown ass man drink. Woo! I can't eat the can't wait to eat the root. Now family, check this out. Here we go. So I just posted up a video for those that are supporting the journey on the gum road site. You go to gum road. No, you go gum G U M dot C O forward slash that ambrosia, right? Now for those that signed up for the Ambrosia because some of y'all are going to be starting getting the Scobies, right? And I introduced y'all to the Scobies where you can start brewing your own um, um, June. You can't brew Ambrosia, you know what I'm saying? Because I got a connection with the gods and I, you know what I'm saying? So I brew the Ambrosia, but you can brew your own June, right? Because this is the issue, man. I'm not trying to hold this, you know what I'm saying? Because this this science, you know what I'm saying? This This art, a brewing is something that is in us, right? We was the first ones to brew beer. We was the first ones to look at the possibility of, of fermenting and the power of fermenting. And I would be wrong if I hogged it because and be like, oh, I'm the only one that's no. I have scobies. If you want scobies, you go and order you a scoby. I get your scoby and I put a video up showing you how to start your first batch. Now I'm waiting for that batch to finish and I'm going to complete a video showing you how to do your second brewing because you got two and three different brewings that you could do with the ambrosia or with your June or with your kombucha with whatever form you're taking. I suggest June which is the green tea and the raw honey simply because we got too much sugar flowing in our community. So right now what I want to do I want to get are I want to get this is the detox batch that I'm be sipping on while we're going through while I'm going through this fast so I kind of want to distill it so this family will be called a third brewing because the second brewing is when you add stuff in there. So you can see the thyme leaf in there. You can see the cinnamon. You can see the, um, I can't remember what that root is called. Y'all got to excuse me. Uh, Turmeric root. Um, you can see the redness of the, uh, you can see the redness of the cayenne. And you can 
possibly see some of the black seed in there. But this will be a second brewing. Now, how I'm going to get all that shit up out of there, I don't know. Right? But the PC is, man, I got it. I'm going to work it out. I got it in. I'll find a way to get it out. Or it might just be a bottle gone. Right? But I needed to get it out so that I could start fast and get my detox. So, Facebook, I won't belabor the point. Look at that. See, that's that black seed up in there. And Kwame, I got you on the black seed for your uh, ginseng. You want to do ginseng and black seed. So, um, you can put in personal orders. Um, <clears throat> so, Facebook, I'm going to say thank you. Peace for joining me. Y'all take it easy. Peace out. YouTube, here's the break. Y'all back. Hey, all right, so, yeah, your little break. All right, I think I might have forget, forgot to put the slot on there the other day. I'm working on it. We're getting better at this, right? So this is the detox mix. I don't need to take a lot of that. Y'all see ginseng on it. Don't, don't mind that. That's one of the stickers from the last batch. Uh, We don't need a lot of that. It's nice and mature. See, it settled down. You don't hear the fizzing or nothing like that, so it settled down. We went through the third brewing. Well, this is actually the third brewing, and we just going to sip that to his ground. All right. On to the day. Ooh. A very mature taste. All of the... All of the honey has been consumed by our friends, the bacteria and the, the healthy bacteria and the yeast. I'm getting the gut. Um, I'm getting my little microbiome in order. You know what I'm saying? Because of course, you know, I got a, I got a, another fast coming up to kind of celebrate the coming of official coming of summer and family. Um, we are going to talk about the eclipse because there's an eclipse coming in August. I think it's August 21st, right around Marcus Garber's birthday, right? I know I was, please don't be out there talking about who is Marcus Garvey. Please don't do that. Please get on, get on the internet, find out about not Marcus Garvey. But today we're talking about the skin. And I said we was going to go on and talk about the sponge, right? I'm going to talk about the sponge family. Simple technology that I learned about when I went to Ghana blew my mind. And I've been using this since my first trip to Ghana, which was my son is 12. So, 15 years. Been using it for 15 years. Now, I don't have the best skin in the world. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but I don't have a lot of breakouts on my skin. Right? Why? Why? You know what I'm saying? It ain't because I've been drinking plenty of water. Because even though I've been drinking water, I ain't been drinking enough water. So, let's go and talk about the skin. Then we'll get into what this thing is. Fun facts. Your skin is the largest largest organ and plays a vital role in detecting hot and cold, regulating your body temperature and protecting your muscles, bones, and internal organs from outside infections and disease. So your skin not only looks good, but it regulates temperature and it protects, protects your body. You know what I'm saying? It's the first line of defense. But that's just starters. There's so much more to your skin that you might then you might think, here are some of the most interesting facts about your skin. 
The average person's skin covers an area of 2 square meters. Skin accounts for about 15% of your body weight. The average adult has approximately 21 square feet of skin, which weighs 9 pounds and contains more than 11 miles of blood vessels. Alright, now the scary part about this is that in some form of fashion, they done strip, strip somebody's damn skin off and wave that shit. It's kind of scary, right? Uh, hey, that's just that's just my observation. The average person has about 300 million skin cells. A single square inch of skin has about 19 million cells and up to 300 sweat glands. Now, I need y'all to understand that, right? Because the sweat not only cools the body, but it helps helps your body eliminate toxins. So it's important that we start learning to sweat. I know it's uncomfortable, family, right? And we're going to have a show about saunas and, of course, the Native American sweat lodge. Family, if you have access to some of our Native American family, you need to go on. And get in tune with the sweat. We're going to talk about that. Oh my God. Because it's, you know, the sweating and the unbletched unble season coming. So I got to get myself together. Um, I, I'm, I'm thinking about going out. Your skin is the thickest on your feet. And thinnest on your eyelids. The skin renews itself every 28 days. Now, that sounds very similar to the female cycle does it not 28 days the skin renews itself every 28 days why 28 we're going to look into that not today but we're going to look into that your skin constantly sheds dead cells about 30 to 40,000 cells every minute that's nearly now nine pounds per year your skin is constantly regenerating if you're taking care of it if you're giving it what it needs some sources estimate that more than half of the dust in your home is actually dead skin. So when you got dust around your bed or dust on, on, on some furniture, a lot of it is you. Right? Clean yourself up, man. Clean yourself up. Leaving that damn dust all over the house. Clean yourself up. Come on now. Dead skin comprises about a billion tons of dust in the Earth's atmosphere. You are a polluter. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, a billion tons of dirt, dust, right? Your skin is home to more than 1,000 species of bacteria, right? Now, y'all got to understand. You are a universe within itself. We're going to talk a little bit more about this when we get to the gut bacteria. But you are a, a, a complex ecosystem where all these things are working together for your existence. Your Ashe, the energy that the Ashe fuels in a sense your individual soul and your individual soul is able to express itself through this, phys this physical body, which is composed of thousands of different organisms that are working together to make you. You are unique and a powerful being. And by you taking care of yourself, you are in a sense lording, listen to me, lording over a universe. So when that universe start going wrong and it start breaking down, it's because you are not lording properly. Which means a lot of times that you are investing your energy in the wrong direction, family. Right? We, a lot of us, we throwing energy out when we need to focus energy in. And, and why? Because when we focus it in, and we start learning to master ourselves. This is why our ancestors talked about mastering ourselves. We're going to talk about mastery too. We got a whole bunch. I got, I got years and years of shit to talk about, right? 
But when we start mastering ourselves, family, and we start learning to work with this, this marvelous tool that the Creator has laid upon us, this might this 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 micro universe today is Kujichaglia, which is also uh, which also the hermetic hermetic law of correspondence fall in as above so below. If you look out into the universe, you got billions and trillions, well let's say billions of galaxies, and within those billions of galaxies, you got trillions of planets, and even more, I mean, uncountable amount of things, and your body is composed just like that. And you are supposed to lord over your body. And when you are able to lord over your body, you are able to that 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 lordship, that that rulership, that power that you're able to generate by learning to overcome and control this spills out into the world. So we got people doing it in reverse. We got people trying to conquer the world prior to trying to conquer themselves. Our ancestors always say, know thyself. When you master yourself, you can master the world. This is, you know what I'm saying? Know thyself. Take time to really learn your body. Take time to feel your body. Take time to look in the mirror at yourself. You know what I'm saying? Some people, if, some people, if they were, if they seen themselves walking down the street, they wouldn't recognize them. Take time to look at yourself. Take time to peer into your own eyes, right? Take time to touch your skin. It's a blessing. Skin that is severely damaged may try to heal itself by forming scar tissue, which is different from normal skin tissue because it lacks hair and sweat glands. Skin can form additional thickness and toughness, a callus, if exposed to repeated friction or pressure. Now, I want y'all to think about that, right? Your skin adapts, just like you. Some of the nerves in your skin are connected to muscles instead of the brain, sending signals through the spinal cord to react more quickly to heat, pain, and etc. Your skin has at least five different types of receptors that respond to pain and touch. Change in your skin can sometimes signal changes in your overall health. So when you start getting the blotches and stuff, you know what I'm saying? You, you, it's your skin giving you a signal that something is wrong. Once again, I got another article, 50 Facts About Your Largest, largest Organ. Um, I got that first article. I'm sorry, I didn't give credit. Um, it didn't show up when I printed it out. The largest organ in the human body is one you can see most easily. Most easily, the skin is considered an organ because it's a very specific function. So remember, your skin is an organ, so you got to take care of it. Organs need to be moist. Organs need, you know what I'm saying, they need to be hydrated. Well, we start with every day. Hydrate yourself. The skin, on average, adult has a surface area of 21 square feet and accounts for 6%, 6 to 10% of your body weight. Ending, edging out the liver, your body's, your body's second largest organ. So I didn't know that. Did y'all know the organ was, I mean, the liver is the second largest organ, which accounts for approximately 2.5% of your body weight. Also, lots of dust you see in your house is made of dead skin. We already covered that. 50 facts. This one got picture, pictures. This come from, all you gotta do is look up 50 facts about your skin. Of course we know it's the largest, largest organ. 15% um, is covered two square meters. Uh, skin accounts for 15% of your body weight. There are two types of skin, hairy and globrous. Your skin has three layers. Did you know that? The epiderm epidermis, dead and waterproof, which is the top layer. The dermis, hair and sweat glands. And the subcutis, fat and large blood vessels. Alright, now remember we talk about, we talk about ketosis and learning to burn the fat. So the skin 
covers and protects all of that. And wait, oh family, wait till we start discussing the fascia. <sighs> if you don't know what the fascia is, you need to catch up. All right? There are two types of skin. Oh, we got that. Every inch of your skin has an exact um, stretchiness and strength for its location. Skin on your knuckles is very different than the skin in your belly, on your belly. So the skin on the knuckles is a little bit rougher. You know what I'm saying? So your body, I mean, think about the brilliance of this. Your body skin adjusts. Of course, the skin on the bottom of your foot is not the same skin that will be on the soft part of your belly because the skin on the foot got to be the roughest, right? Because that makes the contact and your body adjusts to your environment, right? This is why, once again, family, listen, our ancestors were brilliant, right? I mean, we had scheduled suffering, purposeful suffering. Right? We would put the body through certain things because we knew that it would adjust. Right? Many of us is just letting life happen to us. Our ancestors used to used to plan life or at least get life that. We knew that we was gonna suffer. So we would put suffering into part of our training. Right? A lot of y'all don't wanna work out. A lot of y'all don't wanna move. A lot of y'all we used to we used to make ourselves have to suffer because we knew that our body and we knew that our as a being we would adjust right we got to stop pushing ourselves family we got to we, we we got to get back to some of the old ways now i'm not saying going back to wearing loincloths and shit like that right i'm not talking about that what i'm talking about is some of the old views of who we were right a lot of us want to live life without suffering but life without suffering is a life without growth. Life without struggle is a life without growth, right? When we be, when we live life in a in, in a state of homostasis, there's nothing that can happen that when we just totally balance. So every now and then we gotta throw ourselves off. This is why you see Brother High Tim doing things like going to the sweat lodge. This is why you see Brother High Tim doing things like fasting. This is why you see Brother High Tim periodically running and periodically making myself uncomfortable uncomfortable learning something new right now i'm learning something new about about this right here because my body got to adjust my mind got to adjust my spirit got to adjust my emotions got to adjust right my intuition has to be has to adjust we got to push ourselves all right all right we talked about that a body hair will grow from two to six years. You lose an average of 20 to 100 hairs a day. Hair is made from a protein called keratin. Every hair has a small muscle, the pili. This allows your hair to be raised when cold or in heightened emotional states. So every, I mean, do you, I mean, think about the complication of just our bodies you know we learn in all this each hair has a muscle did you I'm, I'm not saying this you know what I'm saying there's studies on this shit each hair has a muscle wow keratin also forms a dead outer layer of human skin called a fingernail so even your fingernail it's skin. It's a hard form of skin. So listen, this is how hard you can produce your skin to be. Lipids are natural. Uh, every 28 days your skin renews itself. Remember that 28 days of dust your home actually dead skin. Most of the dust in your home. Alright, so we're going to, okay, on average 14 species of fungi fungi live between your toes the glands that produce wax in your ears are specialized sweat glands so even the wax in your ears are is a form of your body pushing dirt out um, your skin 
has its own bacterial microbiome of over a thousand species. Some are oily, some are moist, some are dry, and around one trillion individual bacteria. I didn't say billion, I didn't say million, I said trillion. Melanin, the color code. Skin color is the result of a protein called melanin. Melanin is a protein family. Large um, tentacle like cells called melan melan melanocytes, melanocytes produce and distribute melanin. I'm still learning with y'all. Human skin comes in a, in a very wide range of colors from different parts of the world. Let's get into this. Around 7% of our skin cells are melanocytes. Everyone has the same number of melanocytes. Everybody, but listen. Skin color is due to the activity, not the quantity. All right, we're going to talk about melanin soon, right? Skin color is due to their activity, not their quantity. There are two types of melanin. You got female, um, female melanin, yellow to red in color, and you have oo melanin, dark brown to black. One in 100, 110,000 people are albinos. Melanin is also responsible for the eye color. We're going to get into that melanin, baby. We don't, trust me, we're going to get into that. It takes six months for a baby to develop their permanent skin tone. All right, so before y'all be saying, that's not my baby. Give it six months to find out about that color, all right? It goes through a process. All right, skin covers covering the eye is transparent and very sensitive. So even your eye, listen, family, I, we are you are incredible. All right, I'm gonna take a sip on that. This is that. This is that uh, detox ambrosia. That detox ambrosia. All right, we're gonna stop there. So now, what I want to talk about right now is the sponge. Dun, dun, dun. You be like, brother, how Tim, that's not a sponge. I'm just calling it what my Ghanaian family call it. When I went to Ghana, I, my first trip, I was so excited about getting over there. I forgot a washcloth. So I'm screaming, God damn it, I got to get a washcloth. And, um. Uh, I went to go look for a washcloth, and but in every shower that I went into, I saw this funny looking thing hanging out. You see it? Like, what the hell is that? I mean, y'all catching fish? What the bug? You know, no, 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 brother. We call that the sponge. I said, that's not a damn sponge. I said, we know it's not a sponge. You know what I'm saying? You use it to wash up. You put soap on it and rub it right now you can use this dry right or you can use it in the shower and what it does is stimulates the skin to help to help help it eliminate toxins right so just getting I mean just listen this is a product that is made by us that we could go and start marketing, right? Because everybody got the low fun. Every, you know what I'm saying? You got to go to the to, to the Mediterranean and get the low fun. When all over Ghana, all of, I, I ain't even going to say West Africa because I haven't been all over West Africa, but all over Ghana, you got this. You go to an African store and you can ask them for the African sponge and you can get this. We can start importing this and we can start selling this. Now, they talk about when you dry dust your skin, to kind of help motivate it, you can use this for that as well. Feel good, damn! I never did it like this, right? But also, you can use it in your shower. Now, I kept one of these. Now, family, let me tell you this: I don't have to change this for ten years. I can keep the listen. I can keep the same sponge 
for 10 years. And I know y'all like, boom, of course you watch it, right? But the point I'm saying is, this lasts for a very long time. And it's basically a net made from strings that once you put it on your skin, it helps the skin to get rid of the toxins, right? So when you're looking at Brother Hot Tim's skin, I don't break out a lot. Here, let me, let me change the view for you so y'all get a better look. You know, every now and then I get a little bump, right? You know, you, y'all gonna see me with all, with, all, with all my stuff out, right? You know what I'm saying? Look at my arms, right? I attribute this to using this. Now, this is enough. This is this is a business venture. Now, I'm not trying to hog all the business ventures, right? But we need to get sponges over here, right? Because now, if the skin is the first line of defense, we need to be taking care of our skin, right? Now, not only does this help open up the pores and help the pores release poison, what you got to understand is this. It also opens up the pores so that the pores are more susceptible to poison. So you got to be careful what you use this with. I use natural soaps, right? So, you know, there's other people out there talking about natural soaps. We're going to talk about some, but then also that's a whole nother business venture, right? Because, you know, the ash business, the skin business is something that we can get in and we, because we got, we got skin. We can make our own soaps. You know what I'm saying? We can import or we could produce simple things like this and do business. Family, listen. It's called African Sponge. Go to African Store. Check it out. Right? Now, I'm going to start making some of these available on Giami Journey. And I'm not hogging it, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to make some of these available. So, you know, I ain't going to say it in the link below, but you're going to be able to go on and order these off of Giami Journey or... Um, I'm going to find a supplier so we can get a whole bunch of these, family. This is something very simple that we could use to help take care of our skin. And you can get that beautiful glow. Like y'all see the light shining off my forehead. It ain't just because my forehead is big. It's because, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm using, I'm using some wisdom from Africa. You know what I'm saying? Even though it's not a sponge. You know what I'm saying? It works, right? So, this is Brother I Tim. I want to thank you for joining me for the toast. And with that, Brother I Tim is going to say peace. Oh, make sure y'all check out Miss Gina G Project. She got, um, she released one on Sunday. She got no one coming out on Thursday. For those of you that's been following and y'all been checking Gina out on, um, on my, on my um, podcast on the Daily Toast. You know, keep her in mind because Gina dropped one of them Ambrosia bottles and cut her foot up. You know what I'm saying? We didn't have to take her to the hospital. But, you know, I'm still working with her on getting focused, right? So, you know, share things with y'all about, about, my, little, about my little people, right? Because one day, while y'all see me here, one day you may see one of my little ones taking my place. Because that's what we do. We build legacy, is it not? I mean, we might see one of your young people taking my place. You know what I'm saying? But the piece is, we build a legacy because our ancestors need to be toasted, don't we? Don't they? Somebody need to do it. Somebody need to take that responsibility. And I figure, why not one of y'all? Why not one of mine? Why not one of ours? We got to try. If you're watching this, you consider yourself part of the, you know, on the, on the outskirts of the family. But, you know, you go to that... Um, gum road site sign up we start communicating you become on that become part of that inner circle you know we build it shouts out to Vern Love we got one more day girl and you're gonna be getting your package I hope I hope the bottles made it you know when you are ordering that ambrosia please be aware that there's a possibility that that shit is gonna blow up inside the package I'm just being honest right um y'all hear this sizzle Every time I open it, did you, I just closed that one. That one sizzled a little bit. We we tighten this one up a little bit. Let's see. Just a little bit, all right? So you know carbon is constantly building up. So um, what we have to do is, what I'm going to start doing is, for those people that make orders, 
well, um, not orders, for those of you to support the journey, when I send stuff out to you, when I send your gift, your thank you gift out to you, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make Tuesdays the, uh, the day because according to uh, the people I use, they can have it anywhere in the, in the continental United States within three days, right? So rather than doing it on, because I did this one on a Friday, so that means that the stuff had to sit on, um, uh, on oh my God, all y'all push-ups. I, I did them. I shipped it on a Nia. So that meant it said Kaumba and Imani, and it's gonna, it's not going to get there into a Jima. That's five whole days that I had to sit. So we will be shipping on the Mojas or Kuji Chagalias, right? Now, as y'all orders start increasing, for those of you that have that are on Giami Journey, that have friended us, that have um, uh, supported us on Gum Row, you will be able to order personal mixes, right? This this means that you say, brother, I Tim, I'm gonna get the journey, I'm gonna get Giami Journey um, a donation, um, but the gift I want from you is this, brother. I want like um, Brother Kwame. Brother Kwame was specific. He said, I want black seed and ginseng. Brother Tim, I want to try. Uh, um, Ms. Vern Love sent me um, some information about, about black walnut. She might decide that she want to try a black walnut ambrosia. You know what I'm saying? Those of you that are in the circle, right? Those of you that are supporting the Giambi journey. You know what I'm saying? Helping us, you know, because like I said, right now, you know, the, the finances are kind of, kind of low. So we still working on getting a camping trip together. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, cool. I'm cool with that. You know, we, we've been struggling all this time. We're going to continue struggling. That's how we doing it, right? But like next year, I want to do a train trip or something like that, and I'm, you know. But anyway, we'll get into that later. But the PC is. If you have certain herbs that you want to try and you don't want to take the time to make it yourself, you know what I'm saying? You can ask Giami Journey to go on and make it for you. All right? Like this detox mix. All right? You want detox. Boom. Because the next detox, I think I might try some black walnut. I didn't. Now, let me say this. I didn't do oregano because oregano is uh, very aggressive. I don't know if you did any reading on oregano. Right, I was thinking about putting oregano, but oregano is very indiscriminate about um, the bacteria and the yeast it kills. Right, it don't give a damn whether it's, it's sort of like penicillin. It don't give a damn whether it's friendly bacteria or deadly bacteria or deadly yeast. Or it's killing everything. So that's the one reason I didn't mix the oregano in with this. Right, because I don't want the goal is not to kill all of the bacteria in the gut. In, in our cleansing process. What we want to do is we want to strengthen. We want to strengthen up the healthy bacteria and yeast. We want it to be able to be strong enough and work it with our immune system to extract and push out those things that don't belong, those parasites, those, um, um, those, those deadly bacteria and yeast that don't, that don't really belong. You know what I'm saying? And keep them in check. Alright? Because your body is about balance. Because even though candida is bad, there are candida bacteria that are part of you. Right? But the, the issue is that they have to be checked. And that, that's a lesson in life. That's a lesson in life. When we talk about the microbiome, we're going to talk about that. Right? That crucial balance. Right? And it's sort of like your family. In your family, you have that wise individual. Who always does everything right then you have that wrong individual right and when you want advice you don't go to the wrong you go to the wise individual hopefully in your family or your circle but when you need some shit done you can always call Pookie but you gotta keep Pookie in check right and that's the way our bodies work you know what I'm saying it's a great lesson so yo I'm going to let you go YouTube, I love y'all. Listen, man, thank you. Thank you for those of you that's on the inner circle. I'm going to put the link somewhere around here. It's going to pop up some. Where you at, Link? 
Uh, okay. Alright, we're gonna let the link pop up somewhere around here, right? Gumroad.com forward slash hotel. If you want to support the journey, you go to gum.co forward slash that ambrosia. Okay? But also, there's a bunch of free stuff that's available on our Gumroad site. So, family, I salute you. You have a great day. We're going to drink this detox. And we out. Thank you for watching the video. I want you to subscribe. Click the bird right there. The fiery bird. And I also have a special video just for you. Right there. And for those that want more information about Jamie Journey, go to our site. It should be right about there. Peace.